All right, can everybody hear me good? All right, perfect. Uh, I'm Rich Boyd, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can apply stoicism to your everyday life and to making software suck a little bit less, right? So it's very information dense, I'm going to be concise and, and on point. Um, I'm a technical principal at Liatrio. Uh, before Liatrio, I worked for AWS, the DOD, startups in Austin. I'm a human and cat dad, an Iraq War veteran, and I'm a DevOps Days Austin organizer as well. Um, so Stoicism is comprised, the brief history of Stoicism is it was founded in 300 BCE by Zeno Sidium. Stoa was the covered uh, walkway that he used to talk under. Uh, most of his writings have been lost, but the Romans, including Cicero, Epicetus, and Marcus Aurelius, are the ones that really are responsible for us knowing about Stoicism. Um, Stoicism has four virtues, wisdom, temperance, courage, and justice, and these are kind of the guiding principles that inform Stoicism. Um, the first is wisdom. Uh, wisdom is using philosophy to understand and to act and respond in all situations. Nothing is good or bad, but our responses to them are good or bad. And, you know, things like wealth, health, and status are fleeting. Uh, the next is temperance, uh, and it's being wary of excess and desire. Uh, moderation is the golden mean, so to speak. Um, you can't control events, but you can control how you respond to them. That's called the logos of control. Um, next, we have courage, and courage is not about being gung-ho or, or being, you know, a badass, but it's about acting in spite of our fear. It's about taking on challenges, even if we're afraid, and acting in accordance with these core principles. Uh, and then lastly is justice. Justice is the idea that everything's interdependent, and that if we live a just life, others can also live a just life. It's about caring for people outside of ourselves. So I've talked about the four principles, and we're going to next talk about the disciplines, the three stoic disciplines. And these are kind of mental models you can use and apply to your life. And they are the disciplines of ascent, desire, and of action. So starting with the discipline of ascent, that's acting rationally and wisely, right? Seeing things clearly as they are, avoiding preconceptions, prejudices, and biases. Um, you know, it's how our perceptions of the world determines our actions. And it's the term amorphity, love, fate, comes from that. The next is the discipline of desire, and that's deciding about what we really want in life, like what we really want to chase after, and living in accordance with nature and the universe. And that's this idea that memento mori, everything ends, right? The next is the discipline of action, and acting, that's us acting in accordance with those four virtues we talked about. You know, things are good if they're virtuous. We want to avoid bad actions and choose what to be indifferent to, like money, possessions, or fame. Those things that are fleeting and, and don't last. So how do we take the four virtues and the three disciplines and apply them to making software suck a little bit less? Well, that's what we're going to talk about next. Um, we can live a stoic life in our day to day, and it starts with don't be an asshole, right? You control how you react to bad things in life. You try to avoid passion and irrationality and try to be a good human being to your coworkers, to your family, to your friends. Um, next, prioritize your work. I practice this at Amazon. Do delegate drop. Do things that further your goals and careers. Delegate things that don't directly affect your goals and careers to somebody else and drop the rest. Life is short. You don't have a whole lot of time. I keep this calendar up in my office. It's got 80 rows and 52 columns and each intersection is a week. And I tack off another week every week that happens. And it shows me the time I've lived and the time that I've got left. And I use that as a way to prioritize the things I do. Um, amor fatigue, love fate, right? Things, bad things are going to happen to you. Everything's going to fail. You need to plan for failure and plan for outages and build failure into your architectural design. Do things like pre-mortems and chaos engineering. And then lastly, caring for others and sharing, right? Sharing is why we're here today at DevOps Days. It's about learning from each other and, and really paying it forward to that next group of engineers that's just starting their DevOps journey. So we talked about the, the uh, four stoic virtues, wisdom, temperance, courage, and justice. We talked about the three stoic disciplines of ascent, desire, and action. And uh, shameless plug, uh, I work for Liatrio. We help large enterprises adopt DevOps and make software suck a little less. So if you're interested in that, come talk to me. I'll be here at Open Spaces. And you can find me at Richard Boyd, II on all the things. Thank you.